Good morning and welcome back to Early Riser Workshop. If you have one of these, you may want to consider building one of these. I did. This is a stool, stand, and storage box that I built with a lid and a caster mechanism that makes it mobile. Let me show you how it works. My original concept was to raise the wheel to the same height as my existing shop stool with a backrest, and I've done that, and it works quite well. I can position myself right up to the wheel and perform all of the functions I need to on the wheel this way. But after building it, I found out that there's another configuration that works just as well. Since it's on wheels, I can move this around quite easily. If I trade this seat out and I switch places using this seat that I picked up as a stadium seat from Walmart, I can position myself as normal over top the wheel in this regard. And it's pretty handy also. When I'm done working, I can pack this all up by placing my supplies in the cabinet. Everything that I was using can conveniently go back inside. Close the lid. And then I can put the wheel back on top. assembly away. Now if it's on wheels you may wonder how stable it is. There's a locking mechanism here on the front and I'll show you that next. Okay let's focus on the lock assembly. You'll see here in the front of the cabinet that there's a lever that goes up and down and when it's in the down position and the lock is slid forward the cabinet is on the casters and it's very mobile. When the lock is pulled out, the lever is free to position up and the feet are engaged, making the cabinet very stable. Now, this design is not mine. I took those designs as inspiration for two videos that you should check out. One is from Carl Holmgren, which was the original concept as far as I could tell, and then further advanced by Craftswright, his video on how to have a low profile lever. What I did a little bit different and have added to the design is putting this, these pieces here at a higher position. When the lock is raised and pushed in, the lever can't go back down. And that allows me to put weight inside the cabinet in the storage and be engaged. So if you'd like to build this cabinet, please look at my other two YouTube videos. The first one is on cutting all the pieces. The second one is on the assembly after it's painted. I hope you find them useful. Thanks for watching.